Hi, this is Ron McTube. Today on Way of the Hunter, we're going on my first Kodiak bear hunt. That's right, I've been wanting to hunt these since Aurora Shores has come out, and today is the day. Now, I found a few drinking locations. That's when we're hunting during the drinking need zone time. We'll go over that in a minute and have a look at the encyclopedia. But uh, I found a few right in front of me, actually, <laughs> locations for Kodiak bears. And we're just hoping we find one today. Now we're going to be using the Jack Rabbit Predator Caller. Well, I've got my hand. Now I've not used this before, so I don't know how good it is for bears. But it says in the description that it works for bears, so we're going to give it a try. What I have noticed on Aurora Shores is there's a few little ponds, waterways you can visit where they do drink. But I haven't actually seen a Kodiak bear drinking yet. So I'm not sure about that, but uh, we're hunting during drinking need zone time for Kodiak bears. I think there are subspecies of brown bears that got put on Kodiak Island. I'm not sure about that. I have to look that up. But uh, I have seen a few pictures of how big they can get, and I know they're massive. Uh, so that's what I'm really looking forward to, uh, seeing my first Kodiak bear. I'm just going to keep calling and moving about, try and get a good vantage point. I have heard one call out in this direction already. And I've been here for a few days looking on this rainforest part of Aurora Shores. And I have heard some call out, but I've not seen one yet. So it'll be interesting. They are quite shy, it looks like. So they're going to take a bit of stealthily hunting. So you're going to have to either go near the waterways or most likely go into the forest and uh, stealthily hunt them. So it's quite exciting hunting these bears. Now I was going to use a crossbow today but I thought I'm not sure about that and we was doing the video, the last one, uh, the 1000 meter kill, check that out if you've already seen it, um, I've still got the same weapons on so I've got a Remington long range on and the 338, I doubt we'll be using the 338, I know they're big bears but um, I think it's going to be close up so I wish I'd actually brought a crossbow now but not to worry as long as we get one I'm happy. I didn't want to mess it up either, that's the thing. But we still might mess it up. <laughs> so we're just going to crawl around. And hopefully get a call from where these Kodiak bears are. Like I say, I know they're right here in front of me. I just haven't seen one yet. I don't know how fast they're going to come into this call either. So we might just come face to face to one. <laughs> that will be exciting. Have you killed a Kodiak bear yet in Way of the Hunter on Aurora Shores? Let me know in the comments. How has your hunting been on Aurora Shores for Way of the Hunter? Had any trophy animals? Have you explored the whole island? I've been around most of it now. Such diversity from the top to the left and right to the bottom rainforest. And they've really done it well. They really have done it well. Like I say, you can go up the top. See loads of mountain goats, lots of mountains. You go on the left, there's like ice caverns and areas you can explore. Down the bottom left, different again. And like I say, you've got rainforest at the bottom. It's just, it's totally different all the way around and it's such an interesting reserve. We've already had suggestions that Africa is going to be the next map as well. There was sort of a leaked thing that someone was posting on the way to hunt a discord and they're already suggesting um by a sort of leak that it may be africa coming next so i definitely like that what would you think it'd be interesting because they're, like i say they can have to make all new species as well so what species would you have if it is africa i'd like the normal species you would have in africa to hunt um but i'd also like some others that aren't normally in hunting games something interesting and i think that will definitely add to the experience of hunting in africa but i can see this being absolutely stunning especially on this game so uh, it'd be nice to see how it turns out if it is africa it might be somewhere else <laughs> let's not just assume it is africa but it could be the leak for this turned out to be true um People found out pretty early that it was going to be Aurora Shores or Alaska. So you never know. It might be. And I definitely wouldn't be disappointed if it is Africa. So with no... Oh, 
door just as I go to speak. Thank you for that. <laughs> I was just going to say, right, there's no beers here. They've gone. I've scared them or something. Not been stealthy enough. And one has called out right in front of me. But as I was saying, it's really dense forestry in this rainforest area. Um, have you actually been to a rainforest in Alaska? Let me know in the comments. If you actually live there have, or have you visited there, let me know what this is like. Is it realistic to, you know what I mean? The actual rainforest of Alaska. I know it is a real thing. So we've got an actual nice road here where we could probably ambush if it comes to the core, but I don't know if I'm doing it right. <laughs> I guess we'll soon see. If not, we're going to push into the woods and uh, hopefully get a shot off on one. So I'm going to get myself in position. This could be a good visibility spot. You mean good vantage point? We can get him out of those trees. That's what I'm hoping. It might not work. It might work. You'll soon see in a minute. That's why I like to do these videos like this. So if I mess up, I mess up. You see it. And if I get what I'm after, you see that too. I'm just going to get into a nice position and hopefully call in whatever comes in. Kodiak beers. Whether it's a male or female, I don't mind. If you want me to do any other content on Way of a Hunter or any of the other hunting games I cover, drop that in the comments. We've got lots coming up for Color Wild. We've got a brand new weapon pack coming out shortly. Um, that's going to be very exciting. And Hunter Classic, we've just had the Woodgrass missions drop. Check that video out if you've already seen it. So there's lots on at the minute. So I'm quite busy on recording different games and I hop in between games as I fancy doing it or if there's big events on or something new coming out and um, try and keep you all happy so you can all get to see whatever content you want to see of mine um, but like I say if you want to see something especially drop it in the comments and the most common theme that's what I'll do next so it's sort of about the same distance so we haven't spooked it but I don't know if it's coming in I think what we'll do is we'll give it another same minute and if it's not closer we're going to go in we're going in the rainforest after the kodiak pears but i'm assuming i have to wait to the middle to call the bears in like i said i've not used this caller before i don't know how effective it is uh, i don't know if there's chances of it coming in and not coming in i have suggested this and I've seen some other people on the way to Hunter official Discord say this. I think they should make the calling just more like classic. Um, I don't think you should have levels and all this and that for the callers. I think you should just go call and it works. I think a lot of people would probably use the callers more by doing this. Um, you could just remove the UI. Simple as that. Um, but I think that's what you should do with the calling. What do you think about that? How often do you use callers in Way the Hunter? Let me know in the comments. But it could be runs just not doing it right. So the bear's not coming in. I don't know. And it keeps calling. Sort of same distance. I think we're just going to go in. We're going in, I've decided. <laughs> so we're going to slowly crouch, stealth walk into the forest and hopefully see... Our first bear. We know they're there. Imagine if it's a five star. <laughs> it happened with my black bear. It did happen with my black bear. I was looking for wolves. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. I was exploring Nez Pierce Valley and I'd been trying to do this wolf mission for about a month. And I needed a four star wolf. And then um, I just had a bear call out randomly and it was a five star black bear. We got really lucky. Just setting my gun up. We might only have a quick glance if we spook it. I think it's nice that you got to be stealthy around these. You do need challenges sometimes. But look how dense it is. You haven't got good visibility. And that's only just entering the fringe of the forest. Also, the bears drink at sort of 7 a.m. till like 10. Um, so the visibility isn't the best because they're lighting. 
It is closer. I think that's just because we move closer. I don't think it's coming to us. I guess we'll soon see. They're growling. I wonder if they attack. I actually don't know if they do attack. Oh, we just got a one star pop up. So we know there's a male there. Is there a female with it? They're normally on, on their own or in pairs. And there we go. There's our first Kodiak bear. I've not seen one yet. I'm going to get prone. See how close we can get to it. I hope it doesn't rush out and attack us. <laughs> I don't know if it can do. I guess we'll soon see. But it's still hard to see them. Really have to properly hunt these. So there is two of them. So I think we've got a male and a female, but for some reason that's not showing up. They are big. Did expect them to be big though. I love the fur on them. So we've got a one star male and a female. Which should we take? I think we'll take the one star male. Look how close they are. I'm going to try and get a heart. I don't know where the actual heart is on the bear. <sighs> on the Kodiaks. Oh, I think we need to shoot. Is that good? We'll give it another one just to make sure it goes down. But that did, I thought that just dropped down. Is that the same bear? Or is that the female? You'd think two had put it down from there. This is a good, powerful rifle as well, the Remington Long Range, so... I'm not taking any chances in case it attacks. But we have just shot our first Kodiak bear. And that should go down, I think. I think it has just gone down there. Right. Let's go track it. What a fun hunt. That was quite intense. I just hope it's down. There's a lot of blood there. The first one probably would have killed it. I thought we'd get a heart lower chest, but uh, we'll have a look on the trophy screen. See where we hit it. Is that it? I think it's, yeah, it's just up here. Right, so it didn't go too far. At first I was like, why hasn't it gone down with two shots that close? Is that the female? Yeah, that's a female. Is that why he shot my fella? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so here we go. Our first Kodiak bear on Aurora Shores and where the hunter. That was a really fun hunt. I thought it'd be easier than that. I really did. Right, let's collect it, shall we? Yeah, look. So its diaphragm is higher up than I thought. You know, because of the fur and how it hangs down. Uh, I thought the heart would be... Like, you know where I'm shooting? I thought the rib cage would be a lot lower down. I thought the heart would be a lot lower there. But the second shot hit the lung. But, um, yeah, it just shows you the skeletal position of the bear. So, handy if you haven't seen this before. The heart is a lot higher up than I thought. It's only just under the chin, really, where where I shot. Because look, look where it's sort of um, elbows, knee joints are. I thought the heart would be about there with the size of the bear. I thought it would like, hang down. But the rib cage is actually quite high up. So that's interesting. So if anyone's shooting them, you know now, you need to shoot sort of that area for the heart. So we, we learned something today. It should help people out. It's not worth much money though. I thought it'd be worth more than that. I thought you'd get like four or five hundred. I know it's level one, but only a hundred-ish. So, so look at the overview. So it's genetic, 69%. So not really a good genetical bear, but a great bear hunt. Uh, first Kodiak bear, single lung. And we use a Remington long range. So what meat did we lose? 25 kilos. 
um, 12 minutes tracking time and there you go there's the cost so we got 110 for him so not bad not bad I enjoyed the hunt though that's the thing and the trophy is all about the size of the skull 251.9 well I will look at the encyclopedia and where we're hunting as well but let's have a look at this inspect them the fur on these is really good they look just as you think so they're sort of like a big brown bear by the looks of them look at those feet you wouldn't want them pounding down on you would you wonder if they've got the humps like the grizzlies they get big massive muscles right on the back of the shoulders where they like pants down on the ground and he has got a bit of a hump but the devs have done a really good job on these the model looks absolutely stunning the fur looks very good I like the coloring as well so you've nailed these we'll look at the back and then i think we'll go on to locations there's the claws i was on the back imagine those probably like two hands wide do you know what i mean absolutely massive so i think what we'll do is we'll go into locations now i'll just show you where i've been and we'll have a look at the encyclopedia i'll learn all about kodiak bears right let's have a look shall we so this is where the rainforest is right at the bottom of the map I've been flying around here, opening up locations, uh, seeing if we could find any drinking need zones for the Kodiak bears. I found a few all around the middle area, there's little ponds and areas. A lot of them have them drinking really, uh, but this main cabin where I've just been to, there seems to be a few right on the doorstep of it. Um, but I'm not actually seeing them drinking, which is, I don't know if that's a thing or... You'd think you'd be drinking down at the pond. I've got need zones there. Maybe it's just they drink there every now and again. Uh, just because there's a need zone there doesn't mean they're going to drink there every time. So maybe that's the um, reason we didn't see it there. But maybe it's come from that pond. It could be. But there was two here. And I did find some drinking need zones in the middle one as well. Right, let's have a look at the encyclopedia, shall we? Let's learn all about the Kodiak bears. So tier six, as you'd expect, the Kodiak bear, the largest recognized subspecies of population of the brown bear and one of the two largest bears alive today. Despite the large variation in size, the diet and the lifestyle of the Kodiak bear do not differ greatly from those of other brown bears. So hunting tier six, recommended hit energy, you need a big gun or weapon 40s, Here's the life cycle, the need zone times. We came at 7 a.m. till 10. That's when we was hunting uh, during their drinking need zone times. But you can obviously use any of these if you find their need zones. What would you like adding next to where the hunter? Let me know in the comments. I know bows, bows are right up there for a lot of people. But what other content would you like adding to where the hunter next? Let me know in the comments. Your number one choice. So animal weights. Here we go. So 250 kilo for a young male. Female looks like it's about half of a male size. So as they get older, they pack on a lot of weight. And look when he's mature. 27 years old. 760 kilo. So they roughly triple in size as they get to their full maximum maturity. Um, so that's... A really big bear. <laughs> I wouldn't like to see that in real life. Not coming at me anyway. As they get older, their skin becomes darker, necks become thicker and shorter, and their ears and eyes become smaller relative to their head. That's why the school matters as a trophy. Mature males may weigh up to 760 kilo. Habitat, rainforest, trophy type, school, and here is the five star trophy rating. There you go. So we've been on our first Kodiak bear hunt on Aurora Shores and where the hunter, we managed to get a male Kodiak bear. What a great hunt that was. I'm Ron McTube. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels and thanks for watching. Bye bye.